these are the ingredients we need for Eve's pudding. For the base of the Eve's pudding, we're going to use apple and sultanas. The apple will provide us with vitamin C and vitamin E. And if we leave the skin on, it'll provide us with fibre. We're also going to use sultanas and they will produce fibre and carbohydrate. For the topping, we're going to use a sponge topping for Eve's pudding. And in that, we've got flour which will provide us with the starchy carbohydrates. We have margarine, which will provide us with fat. We have an egg, which will provide us with protein and sugar, which will give us a sugary carbohydrate. The best ingredients to use at this time of year are apples because it's autumn and they are in season. So they are much cheaper to purchase at this time. To turn on the oven for our Eve's pudding, we're going to first of all switch it on at the wall and then we're going to turn on the main oven to 180 degrees centigrade. It's important to preheat the oven to make sure it has an even temperature throughout. To prepare the apple into slices, we're going to use some grips. The first grip that we're going to use is our bridge grip. The bridge grip forms a bridge over the apple and we use the knife and we cut down the centre straight onto the board. And you'll notice we're using a green chopping board. We then place the apple halves flat onto the board so there's no movement. And again, we're going to use the bridge grip and straight down through the apple. We're going to then cut them into quarters so we have four even pieces. To core the apple, we are going to turn the apple to its side. We're going to use our claw grip to hold the apple steady. And then we are going to do a diagonal cut to take out the core. Let me show you again. We're going to use our claw grip. We're going to do a diagonal cut and we're going to take out the core. Our fingers are nowhere near the apple. The cores go onto the paper ready to be, to be disposed of. We're going to use our claw grip, we're going to use the knife and we're going to cut in at the base and we're going to take a slice off which will remove the core. We're going to use our claw grip, we're going to use our knife, we're going to slice and we're going to take away the core. The next stage is to slice the apples. So we need to make sure they're not rocking, we want to make sure they won't move. And then we're going to use our claw grip and we're going to cut nice thin slices. It's really important at this stage that we make them even slices so that they cook at the same time. Nice thin slices using our claw grip, making sure we move our fingers back. And again, we're going to use our claw grip to make nice thin slices. We've sliced the apple. We're going to discuss a little bit about food science and about enzymic browning. When the apples are sliced, the oxygen in the air will turn the food brown. And that's because the cells have been broken. So what we need to do is we need to do something to prevent this happening we could add them into cold water. And we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice because the acid will stop the enzymic browning. And we'll leave that in the water until we need it. So just as a little reminder, enzymic browning happens because when the fruit is sliced, the cells are broken and the oxygen in the air reacts and turns the fruit brown. The acid and the water will prevent this from happening. The top of the Eve's pudding is a sponge base mixture. To make this, we're going to use margarine and sugar and we're going to cream it together until it's light and fluffy. It's often easier to use the back of the wooden spoon to incorporate this sugar. 
Now remember the sugar is going to give us the sweetness. So the function of that is sweetness. And the margarine is going to help us with flavour. It's going to help us with colour. And it's also going to help us with the keeping quality. It's going to make it last that little bit longer. So the idea is that we are creaming. So this is known as the creaming method. We're going to cream the margarine and the sugar together until it's light and fluffy. At the minute you can see it's quite a yellow colour and you can see the sugar grains are there. You can hear the sugar grains and we need to try and dissolve these into the margarine. As you can see, after a few minutes of mixing, you can see that the mixture has changed in colour and consistency. It's a much softer consistency now and it's a lighter colour. This indicates that it has incorporated the air into the mixture. The next stage is to add in the egg. To prepare an egg correctly, hold the egg in the palm of your hand. You can check the date mark on it to make sure it's in date. You've also got a little line mark there that you, shows you that we've got the line quality, that it's a certain standard. We're going to check the egg to see that there's no cracks in it. And then we're going to hold it in the palm of our hand. We're going to use a round bladed knife and we're going to give it one hard sharp crack. Then you're going to, don't push your thumbs into it, just pull it apart over a bowl. Just pull it gently apart and your egg will plop straight into the bowl. Next, we just need to give that a little whisk. And the egg is ready to be added into our mixture. The next part of the creaming method is to add in the egg and remember this will help raise our sponge. We're going to add a tiny little bit in and we're going to mix the egg in. Once that's mixed in we're going to add a little bit more. If you add too much the mixture will curdle. It'll be slimy, it'll separate, and it'll be hard to get back together. So, small, gradually, little bits of egg at a time to incorporate into our mixture. Again, just gradually asking the very last bit of our egg until it's all mixed in. The next stage is we're going to change the folding method and at this stage it's really important to get rid of our wooden spoon. We need to use a metal spoon to finish off the folding method. The next stage is to add in our self-raising flour. This one has its own raisin agent in it and this will help the cake rise. We're going to gradually add it in again because we've just put all that nice air in. We don't want to lose it. So we're going to put a little bit in and we're going to sieve the flour. The purpose of sieving the flour is to get air in and to get any lumps out. When we're folding, we're going to use the figure of eight. We're going to use the edge of the spoon and that will stop any of the lovely air we've put in being lost. So figure of eight and we're going to incorporate that flour. Now remember, the flour is going to give us the structure of this sponge cake. Once we have got all the flour in, we're going to add some more. Again, we're going to sieve. And then we are using the edge of the metal spoon as a cutting action and a nice figure of eight to create our sponge. Quick recap. The margarine is used for colour, for flavour and for it to improve the keeping qualities. The flour, self-raising flour, has its own raising agent and that will help the cake to rise. The egg will help bind the ingredients and that will also help with our raising agent. Now we're ready to assemble the product. To assemble the Eve's pudding, we're going to firstly start with arranging the apples on the base of the dish. 
As you can see, they haven't turned brown. It's been quite a few minutes since we cut them. But because we added them into water and added a little bit of lemon juice, lemon juice this prevented the enzymic browning taking place. We're just going to layer up these apples. And they will stew once they're into the oven. The next stage is to add our sultanas. Now the sultanas will give a nice texture, will give us fibre and will give us a sugary carbohydrate. We can at this stage add in a little bit sugar. However, because I'm using eating apples today and not cooking apples which tend to be a little bit more sour, I'm only going to add a sprinkling of sugar. That's all we need. Next, it's time to add the sponge topping. We're just going to place it on to the top at different parts of the dish. Don't try and put it all in one area and then spread it because the apples will lift. gently spread the sponge mixture around until all the apples and sultanas are covered. This is now going to go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes on 180 degrees until it's golden brown and springy to the touch. When placing it in the oven, always remember to place it onto a baking tray and to put it into the oven landscape, not portrait. Always put it in landscape. When our Eve's pudding comes from the oven, it should be golden brown it should be light and springy to the touch and the apples should be softly stewed. And there we have our Eve's pudding.